able to receive this email coming from our appeals department. So this uh, will be covered uh, for sure that he, the buyer received the product and uh, they will be able to appeal it and get me money back, correct? Exactly, sir. You are correct on that one. Because it shows tracking numbers that it was delivered, correct? Yes, sir. You are correct again. Okay, I really appreciate your help today and I hope I get the money back because, like I said, it was not my fault that uh, USP, USP has delayed it exactly. for, all, for almost a month and uh, they closed, eBay closed the case in buyer's favor and uh, basically I was left without my money and my product. That's why I had to call you guys and find out what the procedure is. Now, an another question I have, if I may. Um, yes, sir, sure. Definitely, sir. Yes, one of a uh, couple of my other buyers they uh, their packages were uh, not delivered uh, basically also for a long time and then yes, what sir. what happened was i was kind of uh, uh, trying to see if uh, ebay for example uh, closes uh, cases for uh, them and they also get the, their product back do some of my buyers told me through my messages that uh, they w they are willing to pay me even after refund through PayPal uh, if they receive the package finally. Is it uh, one of the options that eBay currently uh, has in terms of uh, buyers paying uh, for the products after refund through PayPal if they want or? There is some kind of other means of this particular uh, solution because if the buyer finally receives the package after I process refund, uh, will they be able to uh, pay me for it using like PayPal? Uh, the problem is with PayPal is that I cannot provide my email address into eBay message because eBay removes email pay, paypal email addresses so that's why i'm trying to find out how is that possible uh for my buyers to repay me for the product i see uh yes sir you are correct again on that one that is the other option for them to be able to send the money back on your paypal account again and sir you are correct that here in ebay we uh, uh also seller and uh, paypal uh, i mean seller and buyer will not be able to uh, um, like provide all the uh, personal information but sir no need to worry because even though uh, you cannot provide the uh, information to your buying uh, to your buyer using uh, using that uh, eBay messages uh, the best thing that you can do sir is to go to your account go to my eBay and then go to selling and then after that one go to orders uh, and then if you are on the orders you have an option there to see order details. On that page, sir, you were able to see the phone number of the buyer, sir. You, so, on this specific scenario, you have an option to call back or call, contact your buyer, sir, to get the, the her PayPal email address, sir. Oh, okay. So, so I have to call them and uh, get the email address f from them by calling them, correct? Exactly, sir. You are correct on that one. That is the best option that we can do. I see. What if the person... Do they all have phone number or some don't? I know, sir. All the information, because as we're checking it here, you've already up into Seller Hub. So it means that if you've already up into Seller Hub, you will be able to uh, get the phone number of the buyer, sir. You have an option to see that one, sir. No need to worry on that one. Okay. All right. I really appreciate your help and I hope I get my money back for that particular product that the buyer finally received yes sir and also sir for your future references even though our post office uh, we're not able to meet the estimated delivery for them to be able to ship the item on the right time for the buyer to be able to receive this one as a seller sir the best thing that you can do as of the moment is that get in touch to your buyer told them that they need to be patient and also sir you need to provide the tracking number because on that one, you will be protected here in eBay. Because, again, sir, there is a, there is a account specialist 
that would handle that specific scenario, sir. So if we can see that you've already did your part, that um, you've already tried to get in touch to this buyer, provide the tracking number, and still they uh, open a uh, case against you with regards to this while it will not be against, against you, sir. Okay. All right. Really, uh, very good. I really appreciate your help yes, today. Sir. Thank you for the answer and you're welcome again, sir. And sir, if there's anything else again, this is Jason again. Take care and God bless and happy new year, sir. And again, sir, I just need to wait within 24 to 48 hours to receive this email coming from our uh, account specialist in appeals department, sir, okay? Okay, very good. I appreciate it. Thank Perfect. you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Likewise also, sir. And bye for now. Bye. Okay, guys, uh, here was the situation. I was just calling eBay, as you can see from the clip, and um, talking to the representative. Uh, what happened was I actually ma made a video about this situation a couple of days ago, and I posted it already on YouTube. You can watch it in one of my videos on my channel. Um, there was a buyer that uh, opened up uh, not received case. He also left me negative feedback at the same time and uh, what happened was uh, actually sorry about that guys uh, he opened up not received case in the middle of december and uh, uh, basically it was around december 14th and he, i called ebay at that time and i basically told them that there is such situations that usps uh, didn't scan the packaging and uh, the package was kind of lost i didn't know where it was i was calling usps i filled out a bunch of claims missing search claims on their website and uh, eventually nothing was happening within the 10 10 day time frame through december 14th till december like 23rd or 24th so the buyer uh, on december 24th left me negative feedback and um, I called eBay to remove that feedback, which they couldn't do. And eventually what happened was um, the buyer received refund from eBay because they closed the case in buyer's favor. So um, guess what? In about, <laughs> it was December 24th, I think, day before Christmas. So guess what? On December 26th, the package appears in a tracking. Magically, <laughs> USPS found it. And the uh, issue is they actually shipped some of the packages from Ohio to Michigan. And that's where it showed up um, in Michigan on December 24th. We actually started tracking at that day, which is kind of uh, surprising because uh, at that day, actually, I contacted uh, eBay for business on Facebook uh, to remove neutral feedback because what happened was uh, when eBay couldn't remove negative feedback because of their policy due to package not being scanned, I guess, uh, they um, didn't remove it. So they refunded the buyer and I sent the buyer revision to revise the feedback. Because I explained to him that's not my fault and not his fault with all those USPS delays. So he revised it from negative to neutral. And he just put down that uh, he got refund in the neutral feedback comment. And um, what happened after that, since I submitted a case at the day when I got negative, I also submitted the case with uh, eBay for business on face uh, on facebook and i explained the situation so as you know ebay for business gets back to you within 48 hours usually uh, especially right now in times like those i guess they get a lot of requests already from other uh, sellers to deal with all those issues with delays so i got a message from ebay for business uh, finally they replied to me and i told them that a buyer revise the feedback from negative to neutral and i was asking them if they can actually remove the neutral feedback and to my surprise they did i mean i thought that they would not do it such as uh, what ebay representative told me 
and sent me a message about it that they cannot uh, because it uh, was not covered um, which actually with their new guidelines I guess uh, any packages that weren't scanned by USPS uh, they are not covered by eBay feedback removal and uh, eBay for business uh, did a great job they removed neutral feedback so uh, after that uh, yesterday which was December 26 the buyer received the package he received the package finally after months I shipped it on uh, well less than a month but almost a month I shipped it on December 1st so he finally got it yesterday which was December 26 and I sent him a message since he already got refund on eBay I sent him a message and I said hey uh, well I didn't say hey I said hello dear buyer and you got uh, the package I'm sorry for the delay and stuff like that I put all this in my message and I asked him if uh, he would like to either keep it and pay me for it or if he would like to send it back to me and I will provide him with a return label which is no problem um, so he didn't respond to me which uh, I think uh, some buyers may not respond if they get refund from ebay which is kind of understandable they just don't want to deal with it anymore they were frustrated enough and uh, they just don't want to deal with us sellers just because of that anymore or with ebay or usps for that to that point um so he didn't respond so i called in to ebay today and i said hey uh you saw from my earlier conversation actually i started recording